all right guys let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it What do you want? Money. Money, 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 money all the time. When are you ever going to leave me alone in peace? Must you come here to provoke me? Well, maybe if you're not going to give it to me, then I might be talking to Jackson. You dare not! Dare me. No, you dare me. How much do you want this time? One little matter only. Oh my God. Next time something like this happens to her, call her boyfriend. Look, I know, okay, but I, I'm pretty sure that Miss hey. Kiara would not want him to see her like that. I do not care. I am not her babysitter. If you call my number once more. I know, Mr. Henry, okay? I, I'm sorry. When are you going to have sense? When? You know something is not good for you, always still take it. Give you listen to yourself. The one that doesn't have sense. Senseless. See this young people they want it. Like I don't understand. Julius, you could be pleading for me not to expose your drug abuse problem. You're still talking. I don't know why I'm paying you to keep on dating your shit. This is too much. This is just too much, Miss Kiawa. Yeah. 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 She All right, guys, so we're going to talk about this one behind her closed doors. And this has to do with her drugs. Now, the problem that we have in Nigeria a lot is seeing it as a disease. Whereby, when you have a family member that's on her drugs, the family tends to hide the person. So instead of getting them treatment that they need, you hide them. You keep them inside the house. You pretend like it's not happening. You just take away the drugs and you shout into their ears. You know, you need to stop this. It will kill you. You know, when somebody is already hooked on her drugs, you can't talk them out of it. It's not something that would happen, ever happen. If somebody is already on her drugs, there's only two ways. The first way is that they go for therapy, something that would be a gradual process of them getting out of it or they encounter a near-death experience. Near-death experience is like a cold instant shocker that, you know, snaps them out of the whole thing, you know. Something almost tragic that they barely survive from. That's the only other thing that can kick somebody out of the habit just like this. Minus that, they need therapy. And for most people, therapy is the way to go. Now, please, parents, brothers, sisters, if you have a family member that's on hard drugs, you need to get them help. Help starts when you take them to the right facility so that they will start some sort of therapy recovery. Don't keep it hidden. It's not a disease where you have to hide it from the world. You need to get them help. Because if you keep hiding it, sooner or later, it will just keep getting worse until the day that they're going to OD. It's inevitable. There's no other way besides the OD sometime down the line or they have this epic near-death experience that snaps them out of it. The near-death barely almost never happens. So it boils down to, you know, the relative actually getting them the help that they need. So, you know, this is pretty much a short one. We all know drugs are bad. We all know we're supposed to say no to drugs. You know, parents, when the children are still young, talk to them about hard drugs and about why they should stay away from it. Find examples wherever you can find it and, you know, let it sink that is bad in case they have 
friends and peer pressure tries to corner them to that direction make sure that you you know sing it enough that they would know that this is not something they should try however if you're dealing with a child that is already addicted please get them help get them appropriate help don't lock them up in the house don't keep it hidden it's not a disease it's just a situation that needs to be treated and you know that's about it so that's it for this one guys if you love this kind of content as always please like share subscribe follow this is cj from magnetic studios and i'm here to deliver sense